In 1937, the Hindenburg airship disaster shocked the world. But now the name Hindenburg has a different connotation in finance. Meet the Hindenburg Omen, a tool invented by mathematician Jim Miecker and his friend Kennedy Gamage, which can predict potential stock market crashes. This technical indicator has been used to spot sharp corrections, allowing traders to avoid significant losses or profits from the decline before others know what hit them. It's a crafty strategy that has helped many traders navigate through the ups and downs of the market. The Hindenburg Omen may share its name with the disaster, but in the world of finance, it's a tool that's helping traders stay ahead of the game. What is the Hindenburg research? How does it affect the financial market? In this video, you will learn more about how the Hindenburg Omen is calculated and how traders can use its signals to avoid significant losses or profit from the decline. The Catalyst. We are shocked that Hardenberg Research has published a report on January 24, 2023, without making any attempt to contact us or verify the factual metrics. The report is a malicious combination of selective misinformation, stale, baseless and discredited allegations that have been tested and rejected by India's highest courts. Adani, a once high-flying corporation and a global leader in the industry, is now in freefall. Its stock prices have plummeted by 50%, crashing down to earth like a blimp engulfed in flames. The founder and CEO, Gauta Madani, has seen his fortunes take a nosedive, no longer ranking among the world's top 10 wealthiest people and losing his status as Asia's richest man. What triggered this dramatic downfall? An explosive report by Hindenburg Research alleges that Adani's stock prices were artificially inflated through widespread manipulation and fraud. The report also raises serious questions about the accounting practices of Adani's Australian operations, which include the Carmichael Rail. The fallout from this damning report has sent shockwaves through the financial world, with many questioning the integrity of Adani's business practices. The once untouchable corporation now faces a reckoning. As of April 19, Adani's stock had fallen by more than 60%. This made Hindenburg a force to be reckoned with, and their market analysis became an integral part of the financial world. What is this really about, you'd ask? The Hindenburg Omen might sound like a vague term, but its roots lie in tried and tested market bread theories, developed by some of the most respected names in France. Think Norman Fosbach and Gerald Appel, legends of the trading world. So what exactly does this intriguing indicator do? Essentially, it tracks the number of issues on the NYSE that have hit fresh 52-week highs and new 52-week lows. And it doesn't stop there. Skilled traders then scrutinize the results to decipher if the market is headed toward a sharp decline. It's like having a crystal ball that gives you an early warning about impending market doom. Imagine walking into a crowded room and trying to gauge the overall mood of the people inside. Are they happy and upbeat? or are they feeling down and gloomy? This is similar to what traders do when looking at market bread theories to predict the stock market's direction. According to these theories, when the stock market rises, we should see more companies reaching new highs than companies hitting new lows. It's like the room is filled with people laughing and smiling, exuding positive energy. But when the market is declining, it's like the room has suddenly turned sour, with most people feeling down and depressed. In this case, we expect more companies trading at their lowest end in their 52-week range than companies making new highs. Using this analogy, we can better understand the principles underpinning the Hindenburg Omen and other market bread theories. Traders are essentially trying to read the market's mood and use that information to make informed investment decisions. How the Hindenburg Method works. Picture this, you're at the edge of a cliff and you can feel the ground beneath your feet start to give way. You look down and realize that the drop is steep and treacherous. That's the feeling that the Hindenburg Omen gives traders. A sense of impending doom as the market teeters on the edge of a massive correction. This unique indicator takes the concept of market breadth and turns it on its head, analyzing the number of advancing and declining issues to predict a downturn. When more than 2.2% of matters traded hit new highs while another 2.2% or more experience new lows, it's a signal that the market conviction is weakening and traders are unsure about where the market is headed next. Let's say that today, 
156 of the roughly 3,394 traded issues on the NYSE hit a new 52-week high, while 86 experienced new annual lows. Crunching the numbers, we get a result of 4.6% for the recent highs and 2.53% for the new lows, higher than the ominous 2.2% threshold. The Hindenburg Omen has been triggered, and traders should be on high alert for a potential market crash. It's like watching a disaster unfold in slow motion. The numbers don't lie, and the warning signs are there for those who know where to look. If you're a technical trader, the Hindenburg Omen is not something to take lightly. It could mean the difference between soaring profits and devastating loss. How do traders identify the sign? Navigating the market can feel like sailing on choppy waters. The conditions can change instantly, and one wrong move can mean disaster. That's why technical traders know it's wise to rely on multiple indicators when making decisions. In the case of the Hindenburg Omen, additional criteria must be met to confirm and validate the signal. One such criterion is to ensure that the 10-week moving average of the NYSE Composite Index is rising. This involves creating a weekly index chart and overlaying a standard 10-period moving average. If the line slopes upward, it's a sign that the market is strong and the potential correction is more likely to occur. It's like having a compass to guide you through unfamiliar territory. The moving average provides a reliable point of reference to help you stay on course. By confirming the Hindenburg Omen with this additional criterion, technical traders can increase their confidence in their decisions and minimize the risk of making costly mistakes. Another crucial criterion that technical traders use to confirm a potential correction is the McClellan Oscillator. The McClellan Oscillator is a popular breadth indicator that measures the difference between the 19-day Exponential Moving Average EMA, and the 39-day EMA of the advancing and declining issues. A negative value indicates that the number of the new lows has been increasing faster than in the past, which signals that the bears are gaining market control. It's like reading the wind to determine which way the ship is headed. The McClellan Oscillator signals technical traders that a potential correction could be on the horizon. By combining this indicator with the Hindenburg Omen and other confirming criteria, traders can make more informed decisions and reduce risk exposure. In the fast-paced world of trading, every second counts. Technical traders can stay ahead by using multiple indicators to confirm potential market conditions and make better informed decisions. We've covered much about the Hindenburg method, the brain behind some of the most significant stock market crashes. But it begs the question, is it ethical to capitalize on a financial crisis to make a name for yourself? And more importantly, can methods like this help investors predict the market with greater accuracy? It's a debate that's been going on for decades. Technical indicators like the Hindenburg Omen can be valuable tools for managing risk and identifying investment opportunities. After all, who wouldn't want a crystal ball to see into the stock market's future? Drop your thoughts in the comments section and remember to hit that like and share button. Join us on an exciting journey as we explore the lives of financial wizards from across the globe. Stay tuned for inspiring stories, investment insights, and exclusive interviews with some of the brightest minds in the industry.